So, on this cold, rainy uh, May day in Seattle, mm -hmm. we're at Cromwell Park again in Shoreline, Washington. And uh, Mark is getting ready to go swimming in this yes. wetland swamp yes. behind us after the videos are over. That's me. So, we're going to demonstrate a, a proof involving overlapping quantifiers. The, inch, the, the point to make about these, they look a little bit imposing at first, a little scary, but there's no special principle involved in solving uh, one of these proofs. You apply the rules just as before. Well, there's two cases that have exceptional, uh, require exceptional clauses, but for a case like this, uh, we're going to be applying the rules just as we would normally. So Mark is going to solve this proof, but basically you you remove the outer quantifier, then you remove the inner quantifier, and each time you apply the rule as it's written, and then you operate, and then at the end we'll go back and put a quantifier on. There are a, a two cases where we have to do something special. We have a special clause, uh, but this won't involve one of those special clauses, so this will be very direct. What are you going to do, Can you Mark? remind me uh, what special uh, considerations I must think about when I take off an existential quantifier. Like, if I'm going to take this off, what can I replace those X's with? Are uh, there any limitations at all? Yeah, there are limitations. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, if I have already uh, instantiated with a variable, with a constant, I can't use it when I instantiate with this. So if I saw like a lowercase a up above, I couldn't use that. I couldn't use that when okay. I remove this and replace mm -hmm. the X. But fortunately, I don't see any up here whatsoever, so right. I'm really open I can use any constant. Mm -hmm. So maybe the first thing we might do is take off the outer one, because okay. that is the main operator. Uh -huh. Its scope is the entire thing. Uh -huh. And then I could replace the X with a, a new constant, say a little A. Okay. okay. So since there's no uh, constants appearing elsewhere in the proof right now, we'll, we'll do this. We'll strip the quantifier, as Mark said. We'll replace the variable variable that it binds with the constant of our choice, as long as that constant is new to the proof. But everything else is going to stay the yeah. same. This is the important thing to remember. When you remove the outer quantifier and you make your replacements, you replace the variables that it binds, you have to leave everything else unchanged. So we'll take that out, but everything else stays the same. And then the variable that's bound by this quantifier is the x. Do you want me to replace it with a small a? I like a's. All right. So I see the x here. I'll replace the x here with a small a. But everything else stays the same. Yeah. That would be ei1. ei on 1, OK? And now, since this is now the main operator, mm -hmm. it ranges over the entire statement. So I could do an ei on that. Okay. But I would need to pick a new constant. I can't pick little a's, because I see little a's up above here. I have a little b's. Has to be a brand new constant if you're doing ei. So, okay, so you want to remove the constant, the, vari the, uh, the variable that it binds is going to be replaced by B. Is that what you're it's saying? Just that guy there. But everything else is going to stay the same. So that's EI applied two. to 2. Okay. And I'm looking at my conclusion. I'm looking for something that says something like something is A. Is A. Mm -hmm. I can do simplification here. Okay. To pull because up the we left do contract. have something that's A here, don't we? Uh -uh, which is a particularly viscous form of Hawaiian lava. Is it? Yeah. It's a good Scrabble word. Two point Scrabble word. Oh, really? At the end of the game, you got You're two little kidding. A's. It's a way to get two points and get rid of your little tiles. AA. It's, it's a really smooth flowing lava they have in Hawaii. Wow. Well, it's also the name of, very, of a very good group for people. Who have oh, well, trouble yeah, with? Yeah. Who have you know are recovering from? Little Bill W. Okay, so uh, so we got oh, uh, uh, three simp uh, simp three simplification off of three. We bring the AA okay. down. These parentheses <coughs> weren't necessary, but they're also okay. But they're not necessary. This would say something like Albert is an A or Albert likes apples. Yeah. If Albert likes apples, I certainly should be able to say that something likes apples. So I can do an EG because okay. EG works on any letter. So to do EG, we simply re we copy it over again. We add the existential quantifier to the left, and we replace the constant with the, with variable. the variable 
that is but bound by the quantifier. And I could pick X, Y, or Z here, but obviously I want yep. X's. Because be, this is an X. Yeah. That'd be EG4. EG4. Mm -hmm. And so we've reached the conclusion.